Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 Consider the following statements about inflammatory bowel disease, IBD. 1. Inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, is a group of disorders that cause chronic inflammation, pain and swelling in the kidney. To this includes Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. 3. The recent study discovered that IBD is now as prevalent in rural areas just as it is in urban areas, contrasting with the situation two decades ago when it was more widespread in the West. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. Inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, is a group of disorders that cause chronic inflammation, pain and swelling in the intestines. IBD includes Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Both types affect the digestive system. Treatments can help manage this lifelong condition. Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis are the main types of IBD. Types include Crohn's disease causes pain and swelling in the digestive tract. It can affect any part of the mouth to the anus. It most commonly affects the small intestine and the upper part of the large intestine. Ulcerative colitis causes swelling and sores, ulcers, in the large intestine, colon and rectum. Microscopic colitis causes intestinal inflammation that's only detectable with a microscope. Question to what is Bharatnet project? One Bharatnet is one of the biggest rural telecom projects in the world, implemented in a phased manner to all 2.5 lakh gram panchayats, GPs, in the country for last mile broadband connectivity. To the project was first approved by the Cabinet in October 2014 and is being executed by Bharat Broadband Network BBNL, as a special purpose vehicle SPV. 3. The project is being rolled out on 50% revenue share between BBNL and village level entrepreneurs VLEs, and the monthly broadband plan price starts from 399 rupees and goes up to 799 rupees with a minimum speed of 30 megabits per second. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is B. The project was first approved by the cabinet in October 2011 and is being executed by Bharat Broadband Network. BBNL as a special purpose vehicle SPV. Phase 2 was approved in 2017 and funding for the project in both phases has been 42,068 crores rupees exclusive of GST, Octroi and local taxes. BBNL, which is an arm of state run Bharat Sanchar Nigam BSNL, now will be partnering with village level entrepreneurs VLEs to provide the connectivity. The model to take fiber to the home with the help of a local entrepreneur was finalized after the successful completion of a pilot project. The pilot project was initially carried out to connect villages in four districts and then expanded to 60,000 villages across most of the states. The project is being rolled out on a 50% revenue share between BBNL and VLE and the monthly broadband plan price starts from 399 rupees and goes up to 799 rupees with a minimum speed of 30 megabits per second. Question 3 Consider the following statements about active pharmaceutical ingredients APIs. 1. An active ingredient is any ingredient that provides biologically active or another direct effect in the diagnosis, cure, mitigation, treatment, or prevention of disease or affects the structure or any function of the body of humans or animals. 2. An active pharmaceutical ingredient API, is the component of an over-the-counter OTC or prescription medication that produces its intended health effects. 
Three APIs are produced from raw materials with a specified strength and chemical concentration. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. Answer is C. All drugs are made up of two core components. The API is the central ingredient. APIs are produced from raw materials with a specified strength and chemical concentration. The excipient includes substances other than the drug that help deliver the medication to your system. Excipients are chemically inactive substances such as binders, preservatives and artificial dyes that give the pill its color. Some of these materials are used to help the medication remain stable and to control absorption when you take the drug. Excipients like gluten, lactose, sugar and some dyes can cause allergic reactions in some people. Question 4 with reference to sorghum, consider the following statements. 1. Though sorghum provides many dietary benefits, as it is high in protein, fiber, vitamin B and some micronutrients, it lacks sufficient vitamin A precursors and key minerals such as iron and zinc, like many other cereal grains. 2. It is a genus of about 25 species of flowering plants and some of these species are grown as cereals for human consumption, in pastures for animals and as bristles for grooms. 3. Sorghum is especially valued in wet and humid regions. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. Answer is B. Vitamins and minerals are essential for immune system functions and disease prevention. Children with vitamin A deficiency face an increased risk of blindness and death from infections. Sorghum is especially valued in hot and arid regions for its resistance to drought and heat. Question 5. Consider the following statements about clouded leopard. 1. The mainland clouded leopard is tagged critically endangered on the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, red list. 2. It is considered at high risk of extinction in the wild due to deforestation and poaching. 3. The clouded leopard has large dusky grey blotches and irregular spots and stripes reminiscent of clouds. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only 1 B. Only 2 C. All 3 D. None The answer is B. The clouded leopard is categorized into two species, the mainland clouded leopard distributed from central Nepal to peninsular Malaysia and the Sunda clouded leopard, Neophilus DRD, native to Borneo and Sumatra. The mainland clouded leopard is tagged vulnerable on the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, red list. Question 6. Consider the following statements about Nidhi, National Initiative for Developing and Harnessing Innovations, Programme. 1. An umbrella program is pioneered by the Department of Science and Technology, DST, Government of India. To program for nurturing ideas and innovations, knowledge-based and technology-driven into successful startups. 3. The key stakeholders of Nidhi include various departments and ministries of the central government, state governments, academic and R&D institutions, mentors, financial institutions, angel investors, venture capitalists, industry champions, and private sectors. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. Answer is C. Objectives. To take forward student innovations in IDC Nugen IDC program to the commercialization stage. To promote student startups. To accelerate the journey of idea to prototype by providing initial funding assistance. Question 7. Consider the following statements about GS824. One built by ISRO's UR Rao Satellite Center in Hyderabad. 
to the GS-8-24 satellite is the first demand-driven mission of New Space India Limited NSIL, which is ISRO's commercial arm. 3. The GS-8-24 satellite was launched into orbit using a European Ariane V rocket from the European Space Agency's Cora spaceport in French Guiana. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only 1 B. Only 2 C. All 3 D. None. Answer is B. Built by ISRO's UR Rao Satellite Center in Bengaluru. The GS-8-24 satellite was launched into orbit using a European Ariane V rocket from the European Space Agency's Cora spaceport in French Guiana. Direct to home, DTH, company Tata Play, formerly Tata Sky, is set to expand its bandwidth capacity by 50% by adding 24 new Kuband transponders on the communication satellite GS-8-24. The increased capacity will allow it to offer more channels and services and better picture quality. Question 8 with reference to the Rushba effect, also called Bichkov, Rushba effect, consider the following statements. 1. It is a momentum-dependent splitting of spin bands in bulk crystals and low-dimensional condensed matter systems, such as heterostructures and surface states, similar to the splitting of particles and antiparticles in the Dirac Hamiltonian. To this effect is named in honor of Emmanuel Rushba, who discovered it with Valentin I. Sheka in 1959. 3. This effect can drive a wide variety of novel physical phenomena, especially operating electron spins by electric fields, even when it is a small correction to the band structure of the two-dimensional metallic state. How many of the above statements are correct? A. Only one. B. Only two. C. All three. D. None. The answer is C. This effect is named in honor of Emmanuel Rushba, who discovered it with Valentin I. Sheka in 1959 for three-dimensional systems and afterward with Yuri A. Bichkov in 1984 for two-dimensional systems. An example of a physical phenomenon that can be explained by the Rushba model is anisotropic magnet resistance AMR. Additionally, superconductors with large Rushba splitting are suggested as possible realizations of the elusive Fulde, Ferrel, Larkin, Ovchinnikov, FFLO, State, Majorna Fermions, and topological P wave superconductors. Thank you, everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.